Today in the video, I'm going to show you how to use the background slider and connect it to remote control arrows and sync it with a carousel. What are you waiting for, guys? Let's get started. To get started with the background slider, you're going to want to make sure that you have Unlimited Elements Pro version installed and activated on your WordPress website. Once that's done, navigate to Unlimited Elements and click Background Widgets. These are all the different backgrounds that Unlimited Elements can add to your website and today we're talking about the background slider. So let's hover over that widget and click Install. This will add it to your Elementor page builder jumping into the editor and I'm going to show you how you can take advantage of the background slider and use it on your website. Let's add some columns over here. So I'm going to split my columns into one fourth and three fourths like this or one third and two thirds. And let's add some content inside. So I'm going to add a heading and add some text, which is awesome. Let's change the color of these to white, even though right now we can't see them, but we're going to add a background slider, so white it is. And click on the section, change the height to fit to screen, and this is optionary. I mean, you don't have to do it, but just for example purposes, I'm going to give the section the full height of the page. And let's start adding our background slider. So let's go into style. And over here you have the regular background, background overlay. And this is the new part that Unlimited Elements adds for you. It's called Unlimited Background. In the drop down here, you're going to see all the different backgrounds that you've installed from the widget library that we showed previously. Click on Background Slider. And this is going to add the background slider to your section over here. First settings are for Animate In and Animate Out, which is really awesome. You can Choose any one of these for the animation transition. I'm going to leave it fade in, fade out because I'm a standard guy and I like it like that. But if you want, you can customize it. Of course, you can also say, change the slide duration. So if you want each slide to show for more seconds and you can turn off or on autoplay. Let's jump into the items and see how what we have over there. So jumping in, we can see that each one has a title, a background color, and a source. So right now there's no images. We're just using background color. The source is none, just color. And if we want, we can add an image. So let's add an image because I'm going to be using this for images. And let's start managing our items over here. So that's the first one. This one is going to be the second one. Let's choose this image over here and let's add another one, three image. Awesome. And last one, go for four. And we have our background slider set up. I mean, that was very easy, very fast. Next part, what I'm going to show you is the special stuff that we can connect to this background slider. Because as you may know, in Elementor, you can already add some back background transitions like this for images. And what we did add is the opportunity to add just a color, which you don't have inside of Elementor. Or you can also choose a template if you want to load a whole template in the background. Just take in mind, this is a background and nothing in the background can be clickable because there are layers over that. So you need to think when it's correct to use a template. Next part, we're going to enable sync and remote. This will do two things. It will enable syncing the background slider. You can sync it to tabs or to our infographic circle or to a carousel, which is what I'm going to show today, and enable remote connection. What this means is that you can use any one of our remote control widgets to control the background slider. So in that case, 
you might want to close autoplay. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to close autoplay just so it doesn't transition automatically. And what I'm going to do is add some remote arrows. This is an unlimited elements widget that you can find in the widget library. Just search for remote arrows, install it, and you will see it inside over here. I'm going to drag that inside over here. And you can see how fast that connected. I mean, I didn't need to do anything because it's set on auto detect. What it does, it searches in the same section for other widgets that have this remote uh, enabled. So awesome. Let's style these. Very cool. You can use any one of these remote uh, control widgets to achieve this layout. And I'm just going to change the border and the icon to white just so that fits in my design let's change over here to winter adventures yeah how cool is that okay so we got this set up and the last part of this tutorial i'm going to show you how to add a carousel and then sync between the carousel and the background slider so let's search in the widgets over here for card carousel and this can connect actually to most of our uh, carousels but today i'm going to show it with the card carousel and the first thing i'm going to do is let's turn off autoplay just so it's not so annoying at the end we're going to want it to be controlled by these arrows as well and to sync to the background so let's go into content oh let's go back to the carousel layout turn off the arrows turn off the bullets let's turn off the button turn off the top decoration and i'm going to turn off the text so i turned off a lot of stuff here what i have left is actually uh, just an image and some text which is exactly what i wanted next part i'm going into style let's style this a little bit so for the slide radius i'm going to go for 20 just so it's a little bit rounded let's jump into image make our image a little bit higher 400 is too much let's go for 300 image padding I'm going to change to zero and that's about it i'm going into slide and let's change the border to none we don't need a border and what I do want to do is uh, actually highlight the active item over here. So what we'll do is go back into the carousel and inside of normal, I'm going to change the scale. And you can see that this is taking down the scale of all the items except for the active item. So in a carousel, each time just one item is active. And this is going to be the first one over here by the way you can change that if you don't want it to be the first one and you want it to be the center one you could just change the mode over here into center and then that will center the middle one but for my layout i like it that it's the first one so this is looking good and let's also add over here change on click this will make it and will make the items clickable now when i click on them it's navigating so that's looking good and what we have left is actually to put in the content so let's go into items over here and or maybe before that let's connect let's enable remote connection and enable the sync so it will start and uh, maybe start syncing with our uh, background over here and let's go into items and I'm going to change the images to the same exact ones that I have in my background. So this is looking good. Let's go into items again and change the item over here. Awesome. Looking good as well. Let's go for number three. And we have one left. Let's go for number four. So that's it. Everything's set up. Everything looking good. Maybe let's go into the column over here. Vertical line to middle. Click update to save. 
Now, you're going to be able to see the sync only once you refresh this inside of the editor because it needs to reconnect everything. I mean, at first, uh, it can't connect uh, before we refresh to see how everything is connected. And let's test this out. Look how cool that is. So we have a background slider, remote control arrows, and a card carousel, all connected to the together, all synced together. Now, if you don't want the background to blend so much with the images over here, we can just add a background overlay. So I'm going into the section, style, background overlay, and let's add a small, let's say black overlay. And if this is too much for you, you can play around with the opacity. If you want it to be really subtle, let's go for 15% opacity. Look how awesome that is. Now, that's some cool stuff that you can achieve with Elementor and Unlimited Elements. I hope you guys like this tutorial, and I'm going to see you in the next video.